Hi, my name is Sjoerd de Vries. In this tutorial I'm showing you how you can re-record your U-Perform simulation. And that's used to re-record in a new language. But it is also used when the GUI has been changed. Or when you accidentally re-record it in a high resolution. As in this example, the screen size is too big. First, open your Uperform simulation and walk through the steps. When steps are deleted, you can add them now or during the re-recording. In this example, you add an action or delete frames. And fill in some text, don't bother too much. Because the action text will be overwritten do, during the re-recording, while the explanation notes will be retained. Next, save your simulation. And now you are going to re-record it. Open the file menu and select Manage Content Language. This is because re-recording is also used to record in a new language. But you can also use it to re-record it in the same language. Select re-record from this menu. You get a warning message when the recorded resolution is different. But in this case that's what I want. So I ignore the message and have set the desktop in the correct new resolution. Check if the target location is correct and select the appropriate language. and click the re-record button. While waiting on the recorder, check the resolution. The resolution for this simulation is 1280 by 1024. The re-recorder indicates the next step in a visual overlay. Because the new resolution is different, it is not aligned but usable. Because the re-recorder is paused, you can make changes before you re-record. You can use the task panel to walk through the instructions first. There are three options you can use. Pause the task during re-recording, hide the guide, hide the notes. Some hidden options. Hide the red area. And view the step details. This is very useful if you need to look up the start point in your application. Let's start re-recording. Click record like in a normal recording. And perform the next action in the correct area. As in this case that is not exactly as indicated with the guide. Allow the application to come up before you perform the next action. Here you encounter a problem, you need more steps. You simply pause the step window, do not pause the recorder. Now you can add more steps by performing all actions. Additional steps are added instead of overriding the current steps. The task pane at the right is paused. This is a very useful feature, also when you record a new GUI that has some new steps. This is different from the pause recorder option. And when you want to continue with re-recording a 60 steps, click start. This will display the guide again. Perform the next step as indicated. And proceed with the remaining steps. Now the task pane guides through the remaining steps. Just to mention that in this simulation the author has added text in the action mode note. And this text will be replaced with a new action text. Therefore it's better to add additional text in notes and leave the action text untouched. When done, stop the recording. It's important to understand that when there are remaining steps, these will be deleted. 
the UPerform editor opens after closing the read recorder. As you can see the first frame had no action and is not overwritten, so I delete this step. And I copy the correct frame to create a new start frame. I prefer to have a start frame without an action, so I delete the copied action and insert a new start node. These are customized in our template, so easy to re recreate. They also added the node to presenter. In this way, you can add any content in your simulations. When done, save. The first time, it displayed the file properties. Check the title according to your guidelines. I also suggest to remove the language identifier in the title. And check the properties, for example the description. Then use the save as to save it an appropriate file name. When you create a new topic you save it a new ID, but in this case you override the old one. And I also save with the file name, so without the language identifier. In this case you overwrite the file. And then check your content in. You're done. It's a good habit to clean up the copied files at last. So I delete these and keep the latest. This concludes this video. Thanks for watching.